Damn it, I just recorded something and because I had this stupid sound flower thing on there, it really fudged up everything so I couldn't even hear myself. But anyway, I recorded something and it was just like, number one, it started like this. I was crying because I was talking to someone on on um, Yahoo or whatever and I was just like, oh my god, I'm totally bipolar because like I just like randomly started crying like for apparently no reason, but it's only apparently because there is a reason and you know, it's just deep within and it's not just a chemical issue imbalance in my brain or something. <sighs> I'm sorry, now he's talking to me and saying something else. <laughs> okay, you can see now I'm like taking time to can talk to him. Anyway, um, so... And, I, and I'm about to cry again, but we're going to try not to right now. Um, so, he, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm lonely. You know what I mean? And I'm like, talking to him, and I'm telling him something, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm like really putting myself out there, you know what I mean? I'm making myself vulnerable, and as a trans woman, you know, you learn, or at least you 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 may or may not learn, you know, to to not put yourself out there so much because there's so many things that can happen. You can run the guy away if you, if you, uh, you know, demonstrate that you like him. I had one guy tell me once, yeah, that I like him too much. I'm like, well, what is that supposed to mean? Like, are, am I not supposed to like you? You like me. And what is liking someone too much? You know what I mean? I don't even understand what that was supposed to be. Be, but um, you know what does that mean? That's that's a deep societal issue that needs some an analysis. But anyway, um, so there's that, and there's you know guys who are like, you know, just totally, you know, douchebags. So you don't want to make yourself vulnerable, and you feel that sometimes and to do so is it's a little hard sometimes once you've been scorned so much that um that you you know actually want to tell someone how you feel about them and uh you find yourself scared because they could reject reject those feelings you know what i mean um, and then you're just like wow like you just put yourself out there and set yourself up for failure, uh, you know what I mean, and and then and then another thing that I was talking about in the other video is that it's really funny because in the video that I'm not gonna post because there was no sound, which sucks because I really said I said more of what I wanted to say, but um, the other thing is it's like you you um, you want to make a connection with someone, you know what I mean, and I know. For me, it seems hypocritical because I had a relationship this summer, if you know, it can even really be called that, with, um, with Gray, who I will say his name, Gray, because he deserves it. And I made a video before that, um, you know, I really said some fucked up shit, and he saw that, and I'm sorry that you saw that, Gray, and if you see this, I want you to know that I am sorry. And I know that I did some fucked up shit this summer and I know that you know it just wasn't all there but it, it does make me think like about you and about a lot of other people that I've been with um on on a more intimate level not just sexually but on like a quasi relationship-esque kind of <laughs> you know relationship where you know I was with that person um or you know relationships that might have been in bloom or could have almost been one or whatever because I don't think I've had like an actual relationship I have not like I, I still have to say that I don't think I have had an actual one but you know there have been those things and then you know I find myself feeling kind of hypocritical because there are people 
that I've been with or people that even want to be with me and I don't necessarily want to be with them. And it's not anything. And then I realize, you know, that there has to be a sort of like a balance. There's like an equation almost to to romance or not just romance, but love or whatever it is. It's like finding that those pieces that you know, mesh with you, finding that individual who will mesh with you on, you know, so many levels, not just superficially and, you know, not even just uh, esoterically or whatever the word may be, spiritually or anything like that. Like people, it's like, it's like a combination of physical appearance and I had some good music playing last time too. It's like a combination of physical appearance, it's a combination, I mean, of the physical, it's a combination of the mental, uh, personality, you know, all these factors that you need to, um, factor in, and, you know, in the past, for me, there has always been an element that was missing, whether it was a physical attraction wasn't completely there, or whether it was, you know, the mental attraction wasn't completely there, or just the meshing of personalities wasn't completely there and you know that has been the case so in a lot in the past there have been you know although sometimes certain aspects can make other aspects like overwhelm other other requirements like if someone has you know like three out of four qualities that you you know value then you can you know over maybe overlook the, the third one and I mean the fourth one or you know, perhaps they're exceeding in another one, you know what I mean? I don't know. But anyway, it's like there's someone I'm talking to, and it's just like everything I want, and they're far away, you know what I mean? And so I was just, made him, made him, uh, I don't know, he's, I like him, and I, and I don't even know him, and I, you know, like not in person but it's just like when we talk it's like nice and you know I don't know from pictures I know that I'm physically attracted he's tall I'm tall you know he's smart I'm okay <laughs> and you know I don't know there's, so there's like all of that and I'm trying to I'm trying to just I don't know I don't know I don't know. This video is too long. <laughs>